Hi Coldhouse and welcome to the final end of term assembly. So everything we've been doing um, since April we have put together and worked out who's been the best in certain areas like the house points and attendance. Um, so we can go through as usual um, our end of the term assembly. Um, firstly I'd like to thank Denise and Umer. I know obviously you've been away for uh, some time now but thank you for all your help this year. Uh, you've been an incredible asset to Cold House and brought some great uh, characteristics to our house this year. So thank you very much. So first of all, our first slide will be going through 100% attendance. As you know, it's really important we push 100% attendance where possible because it leads to a lot of learning and has that direct link to your progress in attainment grades. It's essential for your success. You know when you're off, uh, off to post-16 colleges, schools and the princes it's really important for those employers to look at your attendance at school so we always pushing that 100 percent attendance so well done to the following students on the screen you've all received 100 percent attendance this term also in key stage four these students you've also received 100 percent attendance so give yourself a pat on the back And it's fantastic to see so many students with this 100% attendance. It's really, really important. We carry on in September pushing ourselves attendance. Obviously, the situation we've had is going to be more important than ever that you are in school as much as you possibly can. So now we're going to look at the um, competition for each form. So uh, we'll start just in first, second and third place as always. So in third place is 7CB. In second place is 10CA with 95.45. So then in first place with 96.54, it's 7CA. Well done, 7CA. Congratulations, huge effort from you guys this year, so well done. Moving on to the end of term student awards. So your tutors have nominated a student who they think uh, before lockdown was working hard and during lockdown who's been working incredibly hard. They've also, based on how reliable and organised you have been during this time, your extending behaviour in form times and during lessons, and how much you value your education, you know how important it is. So all these things that deliver, develop that whole rounded child is part of the student of the term. For 7CA, it's Salmon, and you've done incredible amount of work online and with the Joyful Junior stuff, so I've been very impressed with you, myself as well. Uh, Bobby Shaw from 7CB, uh, Saban in 7CA, uh, sorry, in 8CA. In 8CB, it's been Emmanuel, well done, you lot. In 9CA, that has been Devon Edwards. In 9CB, that is Issa Raffi. And in year 10, Amy McDonough, who has done an incredible amount of work on Teams and work uh, online. It's been incredible to see, so well done. And then Kira Fellows, again, another student who's exemplified the Stockman Green Stand and been working so hard at home. Okay, so a round of applause for all your students who receive the student of the term from your tutors. Well done, everyone. Okay, now to house points. So to get house points during this time, obviously you've participated in Joyful June and those competitions. You've been involved in any house competitions throughout the time. You've always got a positive attitude towards staff, to students and to work. You've received many Feel Good Fridays. Obviously, every time you've had a Feel Good Friday, you've received uh, five house points. If you've been involved in excellent independent learning and classwork, you've got house points. And then that house participation for like the virtual uh, sports day, you've all got house points for that. So well done for anybody who was participating in these events and helped Cole achieve certain things and obviously helped yourself to be the better student you possibly can. For the highest house points in 7CA, Zoiba. In 7CB, it's Taon. In 8CA, Saban. Again, that's the second time you've come up today. In 8CB, it's Issa. Uh, again, second time uh, in 9CA, that is you, Devon. Well done. 9CB, that's Hipsa. Uh, again, 
no surprises here. The hard work you've been doing at home for Tensia, that has been Amy. And Kira, again, your incredible amount of work has given you so many house points. Probably you two, Amy and Kira, you have probably got 30, 40 house points each week, which has been incredible. So well done. A massive round of applause for you guys receiving the highest house points in your form. Well done. So then the highest forms overall. Uh, normally it's always year seven and eight, but obviously year 10 have been doing so much on teams. It's been incredible because they've cared so much about their GCSEs and getting prepared for next year. Um, you have received a lot more house points. So we have in third place, 9CB. Well done, Miss Hughes is going to be very happy with that. Well done. In second place, 10CB. Well done, Miss Johnson's form. And in first place, 10CA, uh, with a staggering 1,817 house points this term. So well done. That is an incredible achievement. You guys well worked together as a team. Term assembly. What we are going to do now is to see who has been the best coal form throughout the whole of this academic year. So we are basing this on our usual standard of our house points behaviour attendance and we can see who is the greatest form of this year. So let's see how who we So overall this whole academic year just to give you a bit of an insight, we have achieved the highest house points in the whole school. Okay, and that's throughout the whole year. So obviously we are clearly the best. As attendance wise, we are just second place to Ray by 0.2%. If we'd had perhaps 10 more students in school, we would have achieved that uh, this year. Okay, so good effort though, Cole House. Well done for the work this year. Okay, then let's see who is in 10th place. We have 11CA. Then 9th place. 11CB, 8th place, 9CA with just over 4,000 house points. Then comes 9CB with 4,394. Year 7, oh, 7CB down there, well done though. Uh, 8CB, great effort over 5,200 house points. And we're getting closer to the top. Now we have 8CA with 5,259. Then 10 CB, great work year 10. Obviously, this is throughout the whole year how much work you've been preparing for those GCSEs. Then we've got 7 CA in second place, which is nearly short of 6,000. And the winner is 10 CA with 6,353. Well done, year 10. That's an incredible effort. I don't think we've seen a year 10 at the end of a whole school before. It's normally been year 7. So, great effort. They give themselves 10 points going into the final. Next, we're looking at the whole negative logs. Okay, so in 10th place, 9CA, you've received 485 negative logs this year. Not good. We need to massively improve that for year 10 and concentrating on our studies. Then comes 11CA, 8CB. 9CB with 300 negative logs this year. And then we're off to 10CA. Then to 11CB. 10CB. 7CB, 166 negative logs. Then 7CA with 142. And the winner with the least amount of negative logs and 10 points is... 8CA with 137. So you get 10 points going into your final. And then the whole school attendance. Um, as we said before at the start of this slide, it's really important all those of you in school as much as we can learning and getting the best value out of our education. So in 10th place and one point, 8CA 91%. Then 11CA, we're up to 9CA. 10CB, just short of the school target of 95%. Still short of that school target of 95.9CB. Uh, 11CB, well done, we're hitting our school target of 95%. Then 10CA, 
7 CB, much improved attendance. 10 CB, uh, 8 CB, sorry, really good. 96% attendance, well done. But the winner and 10 points is 7 CA, 96.27%. And you get 10 points into your final. Therefore, the former of the year, as you know, if you just come first, you have got 10 points. If you come last, you have got one point. And the total figures are in 10 position, 11 CA, you receive five points. 9CA, 7 points. 9CB, 13 points. And remember, this is out a total of 30 points you can win. 11CB, 14 points. Joint is both year 8 groups with 18 points. Now we're starting to get to the winners. We've got 10CB, 19 points. Moving up to 7CB, you have 21 house points. 10CA, oh, I thought you were going to win 22 points. So the winner, the best form of the year is 7CA with 21 points. Well done, 7CA. So we're now at the end of our assembly. Uh, huge praise for every student who has worked incredibly hard this year. Huge praise for every student that has won something today. Uh, well done to 7CA. You've worked as a great team, and that's what Cole House is about, that team effort, working together to do the best we possibly can. So congratulations to you. Watch out for the end of term assembly that will be live uh, next week on Wednesday on the uh, school website, which will go through which houses have won each competition. So finally from me, thank you all for your efforts this year. Thank you parents as well for supporting the school. It's been a difficult time, uh, but we've got through it. We've worked well together as a team. We've learned new things about each other. So I wish you all a great six weeks holiday. Um, as we've told you before, there's lots of revision for you to be doing, particularly year nine and ten, getting ready for those GCSEs. So you guys should be working on that throughout the summer. Year seven and eight, you've got all your knowledge organisers that you can be working on through the summer. You've also got as Oak Academy you can be working on. So there's plenty of work for you still to do. But have a great break, some relaxing times. Spend a lot of time with your family. Stay safe and enjoy yourselves. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.